Today, I am driving around and going to little libraries. I've only gone to like one probably ever, but I saw another person posting about them and I'm like, why don't I just explore and see if I can find anything? I don't have any books to exchange them, but I have every intention of bringing books to these libraries if I take anything from them, because I do have a stack of books that I can definitely part with. So let's check them out. All right, so number one, we have a pretty tiny one. Looks like it is mostly kids' books. Self-help book, some DVDs, Dumbo. Um, yeah, this looks like mostly kids' stuff, which is fine. I think these are mainly, I've read Speak. This is like a really good young adult book, but I'm just gonna give that a little close. Okay, so that was a bust. Um, <laughs> Let's go on to the next one. Maybe we'll have some better luck on the second one. This neighborhood, these houses are huge. I really hope there's some books in here. I'm trying not to be conspicuous because my car is not nice and I'm surrounded by Audis and Mercedes. <gasps> All right, what do we have here? This looks like more children's books. Okay. I can't really see my screen, but, oh, okay. Um, Franklin Graham. Another Christian book. Um, yes, looking like mostly children's books and, um, well, we have The Hobbit. I've already read The Hobbit though. I read that in high school, I think. This is a retired library book, or a school library book. Yeah, not having really much luck here. Not seeing anything that's standing out to me personally. No. So, mostly children's books, yet again. Oh look, some free free crosses. Anybody wanna, wanna, wanna cross? <laughs> No, thank you. So we're on to lucky number three. Crossing my fingers. This one on the app specifically said that it had children and adult books. Let's find out, shall we? This one looks like it's not open right now. So I am just having terrible luck. Maybe this was a bad idea. It didn't say anything about it not being open yet on the app. Little free library, get your shit together, please. This next one is kind of a doozy. It's kind of on a farm. This is actually really nice, except I'm wearing heels. Um, this neighborhood's really cool. Like, I'm in this suburb of Portland called Sherwood, and I don't really go into the neighborhoods very often. I just go, you know around where my work is. Okay, so this is the biggest one I've seen. And it looks like it's mostly kids' books yet again. We have Artemis Fowl, which I have read when I was a child. Um, yeah, this is mostly kids' books again. Maybe this was not a good idea. Here's another, oh my goodness, another retired library book. Dragon Diary. This looks like something I would have loved as a kid. It's volume two, so not really interested. Um, yeah, this is all kids' books yet again. It's too bad I don't have kids, you know? Maybe, maybe, nah, nah, never mind. <laughs> I found a chicken. Oh, there's a rooster back there. As I was saying, this area is really nice. Um, don't go a lot of places where you can't hear traffic. I only hear trees and a plane somewhere out there. Oh, well, a car just drove by. But yeah, kind of nice to get off the beaten path, huh? This is another very large one, and it looks like it actually has... Anybody need some GD math? 
Hmm. Sin killer. I don't know about that, man. Of course, we got some Book of Mormon. Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You know, just casual reading. And we've got mostly kids books. Lots of Dr. Seuss, Winnie the Pooh here. We've got Iron Man, Iron Man 2, the novel. Hell yeah, brother. Magic Treehouse books. These are what got me into reading as a kid. I think I had like all of them up to like number 25. I don't know how many there are now. So far, my little library is not my demographic, apparently, at least in this part of town. I have one more little library to visit for Sherwood. I'm just trying to hit them all um, because I just put in my two weeks notice at my work. So I won't really be coming to this neighborhood anymore. So. I didn't really have the intention of making this a vlog because I thought I'd only be stopping at like one or two and I'd find something interesting or funny, but I am having bad luck. Although it has been educational. I need to stop for a snack. So Safeway wasn't taking cards. So there was like a whole thing. I just am done. I'm going to either go to some more in my neighborhood uh, little libraries tonight or tomorrow. I'll keep you updated. I did get a snack and I'm going to eat it. It's a couple days later. I got a little busy and wasn't able to go back out, but I am over on my side of town and I'm going to check out a couple of other little libraries before I give up on my search for possibly an adult book, maybe even young adult that I might like. So let's see. So this is cute. Has a little roof. Aww. Oh. So there's a pretty good view in here. Um, looks like there's a book by Diana Carrera. <laughs> Um, there are some adult books in here, but there's none that I am particularly interested in. So, I would call that a mild success. So, so I came across this one, and this has a pretty good selection. I found this <laughs> romance novel that I think I'm gonna take, because it looks interesting. We got any, uh... Parks and Recreation fans, this is hella cute. Okay, so that was a success. I'm definitely gonna be coming back to this one and bringing a book because I did end up taking this book. I was really tempted to get the Parks and Recreation book, but it looked more like a coffee table book. So I'll let someone else enjoy it. But we just have, I think one or two more to check out and then we'll be done. All right number three of the day. I really love the stickers on this one. Okay, this is mostly kids books again, but it looks like we got a couple. This might be, yeah, that's probably a kids book. Um, me. Looks like this could use a restock. I'm like tempted to go to Goodwill and like, fill up some of these boxes that I'm running into that don't have very many. I wonder what this one is. Okay, so I read like the first couple pages and this book is about Portland. So I think I'm going to take it with me and give it a try. It does kind of make me sad that there's no dust cover on this. Um, but, you know, it's a donated book. <laughs> so, beggars can't be choosers. All right, this might be the last one. It depends. There is a dog. <laughs> Another big one. I love seeing these. An advertisement for a bear, very cute. This has a good variety. So far, this neighborhood is so much better. Different drummer. This is interesting. I found what looks like a retired library book. A graphic novel about an Asian American 
Um, it looks interesting, but I am so backed up on graphic novels, so I'm gonna put it back. Ooh, we got a copy of Ender's Game. Oh, this is a nice copy. Honestly, this is a better copy than the one I have. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Arthur C. Clarke, classic sci-fi. Definitely taking that. It looks like whoever, someone just got a bunch of retired library books and put them in here, which is really neat. Um, Airborne. Is this another sci-fi? This is like a YA sci-fi, which I'm really interested in. But I think I need to take a break from the YA novels. Where the Heart Is, Oprah's Book Club. Sorry, Oprah. Not really my taste. This looks like almost like an independently published novel. <laughs> Look at this synopsis. It's kind of wild. And of course, we've got the signature, um, you know, religious pamphlets, you know. <laughs> we've got a stack of Anne Rule, which uh, I think Anne Rule is like thriller, which. It's not what I'm looking for right now. Oh, there's two copies of that Airborne book. Maybe I should take one. No, no, Danny, we don't need it. We got Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol. Okay, I think we're gonna end on, we're gonna end on that one because that was the best one I took. Uh, I ended up taking that Ender's Game copy and the Arthur C. Clarke which is fucking awesome. I didn't think I'd actually find something that I'd like, but that's pretty cool. I found four books. Once I get around to reading Ender's Game, I'm probably gonna take one or both copies and put them back into the little libraries or not. <laughs> we'll see. I have every intention of bringing more books back here. Actually, I should do a follow-up video of that, so. But anyway, I'm gonna stop filming in these poor people's uh, neighborhood. I'm really excited to do my July monthly wrap up because I read a lot of good books this month. So stay tuned and like and subscribe. Do whatever you want. I can't tell you what to do. So bye.